Welcome back in this session. Uh, we will uh, install the Apache in uh, AWS instance in this session. So we will see how to install and configure Apache in instance. So let's start. So what we are going to see, we will launch the EC2 instance and uh, we will connect EC2 instance through SSH and then we will install the Apache and the Apache configuration. So let's start. So I'm just going to the console and I'm launching the instance. So Amazon Linux AMI T2 Micro instance type. So I'm taking and uh, not changing anything else uh, with going with the default configuration. So taking security groups for SSH connection T22 port and this is the final configuration. So we don't have the key so just creating the key. Okay, so we have already name, so just changing the name. Okay, now I'm launching the instance. So my instance got a running state uh, we can connect to the SSH so I'm copying this uh, SSH uh, public IP for SSH connection uh, going to the, my console and just do the SSH is it to user and the public IP and the key So we got the connection of the EC2 instance. So let's do the simple ping for the Google. Okay, so it's reachable to the internet. Okay, let's do the Apache configuration. So M. So before Apache install, uh, let's do the M update. So we have to make the sudo su for the root user make sure so by default we have the ec2 user and now i have changed the root user so now i can update the em update so this will run and it will be update the packages so Till the image and AMI uh, created and after that whatever the new packages are upgraded so it will do the all upgrade of the recently changes so my M update is done let's uh, install the Apache so M install httpd dot at x86 and this was 64 so to make sure the x is small oh sorry so we have to give the confirmation for the yes so now our apache service is installed and uh, let's start the apache service so how to start system ctl start httpd dot service so my service got started let's uh, enable service for the 
boot up because the only service start will work in the specific session once the uh, appliance reboot it it won't start so for the appliance reboot we have to enable httpd service so now it's done so let's go to the console and let's access the our public ip and this i'm opening the my public ip here so it's not getting open it will get the uh, timeout so as we discussed in our previous session that's in case you got the timeout then can be issue with the security group so let's go back to the security group view so in security group we have configured only uh, 22 port and we are accessing the port 80 so we have to add one rule here for the port 80 so i'm adding here rule is port 80 for http So just creating for the HTTP traffic allow from any IP. Let's go back and let's hit enter again. Okay, so we got the test page and we got the Apache server ac uh, access. So Apache server is configured properly and you can see that this is the test page for the, our Apache. Now you can uh, add the, your uh, content in the file where the bar www.html path so let's go and hit the command so i'm adding the hello friends and i'm adding this to var www.html index.html so I created one file index.html and let's go back to the page and just do the refresh. So it's replaced the home page index.html with my index.html page. So it will do the hello friends. This is my first web server. So let's get back and let's try to understand what we have did the for the apache configuration so we have installed the server uh, in, uh, instance uh, we launched the instance after launch instance we have connected ssh after ssh connection we have updated the uh, that packages after the packages update we have uh, installed the apache service using the httpd dot x sync 64 uh, you can use the uh, any flavor of httpd uh, then we started the http service then we have we enabled the service for the reboot and we just created one the small file of index.html for the uh, putting our uh, customized message so this is the basic configuration for the apache configuration for the uh, aws instance so in next session we will see how to make the automated all these thing, things so we should not do the manually so in next session we'll uh, see the how to configure automatically once the uh, instance launch and automatically all the uh, purchase server configuration done